we are going to go to the second song. Second song. Balls in the mic. Okay, we're back. So for those watching remotely, I apologize. There's a slight delay. So what I'll do is I'll make sure I'm intentional about what song we're going to just in case um, it gets mixed up a little bit. So we just finished the second song. Um, so again, the repeated question, um, what was the most unexpected thing you heard and or felt after hearing that song? longer songs on this album so i will say based off of what kanye did last year um when he had kind of a, what he produced or executive produced um most of his songs were the minimum amount of time needed to be recognized by the grammy so i think from what i've heard is he wanted to be as impactful as he could be with as minimum words as possible so, um, so as you'll see, that's the reason why this body of work is only 27 minutes long. So the, the, the length of the songs range based upon like, what he's trying to say or, or what he believes the song needs to say. Yeah. I mean, they're not like, obviously your normal songs with the chorus and then the, mm -hmm. all that. It's kind of like, not slam poetry, but it's kind of like, but it kind of is. <laughs> yeah. It's very, you know, I mean, different. Okay. Would it be mainstream if it wasn't Kanye? Hmm? <laughs> Ask the expert. Uh, I, I'm... <laughs> would this, you know? No. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. Actually. I don't know. Um, yeah, that and and the lack of 808s and drums. I noticed that throughout the, the whole So album. for those that may not know what 808s are, we don't want to make any assumptions. What, what are 808s? It's the 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 bass the bass the thing that drum. makes yeah, yeah like but the drum machine music. not yeah. right like right the actual, yeah it's the, it's the it's the thing that you feel when you, the in the nineties when we had the speakers in our cars yeah and yeah. it shook and rattled and made that knock yeah. yes eight oh eight would give us knock <laughs> I, I, he he spent a lot of time um like over Africa for a minute when he was making the Yandi project um so I noticed that he used a lot of instruments that he you know, probably played around with over there um, throughout the project too. So definitely his instrumentation is impressive. And on the continent, they don't really use bass drums a lot. They use the high. They use like real. Yeah, yeah. Kind of you're not gonna get. You're not gonna get. But even the bass drum sound that you. They don't. The, the kind of drums that they use typically don't give even that sort of sound. Yeah, because that's that was originated in like uh, like Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, especially the AOA drum machine. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Just want to say also, there are a lot of writers, and I did not think there were that many words. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I used to live in LA, uh -huh. and I've been in on like like a professional music session. And yeah. What they'll do is they'll have a bunch of writers in a room, and they'll actually just sit around and actually have conversation like this, and then pick out of that conversation certain lines and stuff. So everybody gets credit. So everybody gets credit because so everybody, um, everybody was kind of involved in that process. Everybody got a grant. Yeah. <laughs> Except they don't let you come on stage. Right. Okay. Right. Right. So, so focus. So right. off of that okay. song, what was the most unexpected thing you heard and or felt? I felt intensity, and even though the the song was progressing, I felt the intensity in Kanye's voice in the beginning. He was really like building up to something. There was a crescendo at the end, and I just felt like this intense passion that Kanye had and Kanye's always been a passionate dude but this one was a little bit different you could hear that with the you know okay anything else we have a comment okay so TJ says all right there's the sense and I know he's found his relationship with God in heaven but he went hella stupid with the drums <laughs> reminds me of the Jesus album in a way which is necessary in order to get to this point and he also added to go with the album with, I think it's good when I'm listening to an album I'm more of a conceptual listener sorry TJ I can't read the rest of the comments 
Why is TJ here? So, T- so TJ had some <laughs> yeah. some things to go on. So I, I got it. That would be great. Um, to go along with their album limp, I think it's good. Um, when I'm listening, I'm more of a conceptual album listener instead of singles because I like the full picture. I don't want to listen to an hour worth of songs. This is short enough to make me want more. Um, Brittany agreed. Um, I felt the intensity too. That was my reaction. Um, then Justin said I felt an ascension of the song as well. Okay. So good on the second song. So we're about to move to the song three. 